toss and deferred, so Penn State elected to receive the opening kickoff from Jake Moody. Temperature in the high 30s, wind at the back of Moody. John Lovett, the running back, and Sean Clifford making his 30th career start as the starting quarterback. Fifth year senior out of Cincinnati. The RPO, and they try to throw it quickly to Keandre Lambert Smith. He's in trouble. Greeted already by Aiden Hutchinson. Managed to get it off. Just threw it away. Very nearly another sack for the brilliant senior, Aiden Hutchinson. Late flag thrown. You wonder if it's intentional grounding. Mike Cannon is the referee leading this Big Ten crew. Intentional grounding. Offense number 14. There's no rec eligible receiver in the area. Penthes have lost it down at the spot of the foul. Third down. Yursich, the play caller, third and 17, scrambling for his life again. Clifford got it off. There's Parker Washington, and they convert on third and 17. The play goes to the 42-yard line for 24 and a first down. Yeah, great job by Washington in the middle of the field. Almost a pick on Ross, and he runs that crossing route. Good job by Clifford finding him. Look out. He gets sacked back at the 32-yard line. David Ajabo, they can come after you from either end with Hutchinson and Ajabo, and that is his Big Ten leading ninth sack of the year. Sean, for an offense that's got to figure out how to block 55 and 97 two times in the first four plays, but those guys have gone unblocked. That's not a good sign for this offense. Those are integral parts of their success today is trying to make sure they got a hat on a hat. 97 and 55. Yeah, that's job one for them when they're on offense. Deal with 97 and 55, and they've done a very poor job of it in the first minute. Managed to convert the third and 17. Here comes Hutchinson trying to move to the inside. Walk block that time by Rasheed Walker. Clifford can run, and he scurries out of bounds at the 44-yard line. It'll be third down and eight. Quarterback draw, great call, well executed. And a first down. They go quickly, as they will do regularly. Here's the first catch for Jahan Dotson. And it goes for four to the 39-yard line. John Lovett gets nothing, and that's been the story of the season. They've gotten very little from the ground game. On third and six in the throw too high intended for Dotson with DJ Turner in coverage. And here it is, fake punt. And they complete it for a first down. For an 18 yard gain. Stout not only a terrific putter, nice throw. They throw the quick pass into the boundary, and they'll do that a lot. Second down and nine. Clifford given a puck at that time. Still decided to pull down and run, and he's out of bounds. At the 16-yard line, chased out by Josh Wells, the terrific linebacker, leading tackler for the Wolverines. Two third and longs converted, and then the fake punt on fourth and six. Clifford down for the third time. They've sustained the drive. Despite the sacks, that's Junior Colson, a blitzing linebacker. 42 yards for Stout. Rafael Cheka is the holder. And that one wobbled its way through. Looked like it might have dripped right. Michigan was the last team in the country that had not trailed in the first quarter at any point this season. That's gone. Flag down to their first offensive play, and they won't get it off. It's a false start. False start. Offense number 71. Five yard penalty. First down. And he gets the call on first and 15. Falls ahead for about four. They split him out way wide to the left. 
As they go with an empty backfield, Cade McNamara checks it down for a short game. Third down and nine. McNamara has time, his pass batted in the air, and it falls to the ground. Brad Robbins to punt, third year starter. Excellent punter, and he bombs one. Jahan Dotson watches it bounce, played it on the hop, and runs out of bounds. That was a 60 yard punt. Kicked a field goal on their opening drive. A drive kept alive on a successful fake punt. Parker Washington to the 29. Hutchinson working on Walker again. Right block that time. Clifford's across the line of scrimmage. Dives for the first down. Now he is fun to watch. Such a great competitor out of St. Xavier High School in Cincinnati. You see his pocket feel, realizes internal pressure, gets out. He's got to be creative with Ross hanging right there. He's just trying to get Ross to stop his feet. Beautiful conversion by Sean Clifford. They'll try the running backs again. Kevon Ray. Looks to be just shy of it near the 44 yard line. Lee picks up the first down. John Lovett back at running back. I think of the three, he's the likeliest to give them some big plays in the running game. Clifford looked deep, then checked it down to Lovett. And he's knocked out of bounds along the far sideline by Josh Ross. Right at the 50 for a gain of four. Go very quickly again. Clifford fires a strike for a first down. Down to the 31 yard line. Theo Johnson. And they're at the line in a blur. Love it up the middle for three. They bring a blitz. Clifford has some running room. Clifford inside the 15 and caught from behind at the 10 yard line. Quarterback draw and yields just one and he got hit hard. He got ooze and ahs from the crowd. Clifford giving time with that clock running out. Looked like he was trying to throw it away. Almost threw an interception. Spread the field with five receivers. Clifford has a man open, but Theo Johnson couldn't get to the pylon. A little more accurate throw, and he might have had a touchdown, but he had a lunge for it. This is a 20-yarder. It's another fake, and Stout is in trouble. And he fumbles the football. A little too tricky for their own good this time. And Dax Hill has it back for Michigan. Vincent Gray knocked it out. There is a flag down at the end of the play. The result of the play was a fumble recovered by Michigan. Sideline warning on the Michigan bench. That's their first. It does not result in an E yardage. Timeout. Haskins, powerful run to get four. Orbit motion with flags first. False start. Offense number 68. Five yard penalty. Second down. Michigan averages more than 32 and a half minutes possession time per game. They had the edge in time of possession in seven of their nine games. They've hardly been on the field on offense here in this quarter. There's Eric All back in duty after sitting out last week with a lower body injury. Cade McNamara fires, ricochets around. That hit at least three different people, too, on offense. And Jair Brown at the end of the play on defense. Robbins with that gusty breeze at his back, kicked a 60-yarder the first time. Another high, beautiful kick. 
Dotson single for a fair catch. And that'll be a touchback. They couldn't rescue it. Looked like they were going to stop it inside the five yard line, but Sandra still couldn't do it. After a review, the kicking team possessed the ball at the two yard line. The ball is dead at that point. It'll be first and ten for Penn State at the two yard line. Temperature in the 30s, not expected to go up much, if at all. A pass off the hands of Dotson. And incomplete. Here's Dotson. And he has a first down to the 14 yard line. Yvonne Lee. Oh, to Dotson. Nifty move through the traffic, and then you saw his explosive speed. John Levitt, the running back. He spins ahead to the 29 yard line. Could be the last play of the first quarter if they want it to be, but as quickly as they go, it probably won't be for James Franklin. Something I am liking out of this Penn State offense today is that's four or five kind of perimeter screens that they've so far called in this quarter. You can see a concerted effort, get the ball out, and also get the ball into the playmakers' hands. This formation, four receivers to the left. All pretty tight to the formation with Lovett, the running back. Receivers and Lovett turned the corner for a Penn State first down to the 39. That is the end of the first quarter. Sean Clifford dumps it to the tight end, and Michigan ready for that one. Dropped it for a loss of one. Josh Ross there. Clifford throws too high over the head of Parker Washington. Here comes Hutchinson. He knocks the ball free. And it looks like Penn State got it back at the 35 yard line. Boy, both he and Ajabo have such a quick first step. Four sacks for Michigan here in the first half. Watch Hutchinson come around the edge right here. Talking with Sean Clifford, how are you going to handle these defensive ends? And he said, I just got to play. This is one of those moments, third down, you got to be very aware of hanging in that pocket. He had done such a nice job in that first quarter of not hesitating and trusting his legs. You hang out and your tackles are one-on-one. -on -one. 97, Aiden Hutchinson is going to win way more than he loses. Beautiful cut by Stout. Mentioned the strong breeze blowing in that direction. Both punters have benefited from it here in the first half. Hassan Haskins did well to get a yard. Swarmed by this Penn State defense. Second and nine. Michigan trying for its first first down. Here's Cornelius Johnson. He'll get it and then some. As they couldn't tackle him short of the line to make. And he made them pay out of bounds at the 33 yard line. There was Jacobs, a costly miss tackle, 22 yard pickup. First first down for Michigan. Haskins to the 36. But the lead is only 3 0. Cade McNamara, the junior from Reno, goes down. Back at the 30 in the arms of Arnold Mikete. Screen, good call. Room for Haskins. Bounces off a hit and lunges for the first down. Donovan Edwards on the field as Molly reported. He missed the last couple of games. They're without Blake Clark today, so Edwards is the number two. Figures to get more action. He's down after a short game. Edwards continues at running back. True freshman arrived in January. 
And he stumbled as he went to cut. Went down after a gain of three. Brandon Smith in the neighborhood. On third and seven movement. Flags down. Free play. Matt McMahon throws for Andrew Anthony, who fell down along the boundary. Might have been taken down. Offside, defense, number 99. Five-yard penalty, repeat third down. Haskins thrown down, short of the line to make. By Kalen King, freshman cornerback. Haskins spins, lunges, and just did get it. Didn't look promising for him when he took the handoff, but he is so hard to bring down. And the drive continues. Here's the 10th play that had the ball for more than five minutes. After the play fake, McNamara wanted to throw it deep. Looked like he might have been hit. And the ball drifts incomplete in the general direction of Roman Wilson. They bring pressure. McNamara got it off. Juggling catch made by Andrew Anthony. And the freshman has the first down. Nice catch by Anthony in the flat Haskins. Well, he gets everything out of every carry and catch. So he trips. He's that trips up into the boundary. They're really watching this safety. Does he stay to the field? Does he go to the middle? It's determining what you're going to do play call wise. Haskins. That's your tenth. Running play, they've thrown it nine times. They've had trouble running the ball. Four man rush on first and ten. McNamara throws a touchdown. Roman Wilson on a beautifully thrown ball by Kane McNamara. And Michigan takes the lead. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Michigan has scored for the first time today to take the lead. Another touchback for Moody. Clifford's pass batted out of the air. It falls to the turf. Mozzie Smith knocked it down. Good to have you with us. Start of a great day of college football. Kayvon Lee, the Kayvon sophomore Lee. from St. Petersburg, Florida, swung down at the 27-yard line. Griffith got it off. Tough catch, and he couldn't make it. Over the shoulder effort by John Lovett. Stout punts again. Boy, the punting is so good. These two and so many others all around college football. And it's well covered. Haskins to catch and run and a gain of eight on first down. Very efficient. Hassan Haskins carries for a first down. Cannot be tackled by one man. Matt Demera for the near sideline for Andrew Anthony. There was contact and two flags thrown as Anthony collided with Curtis Jacobs, the linebacker who had the coverage. Matt Austin agrees with the call on the field, so that's good enough for me. There's some trickery. Here's A.J. Henning in trouble. And that time, Brister does make the tackle. And it's a loss back to the 50-yard line. Incomplete pass. Cornelius Johnson couldn't catch it. Johnson. 
Play clock might have expired. Or was there a timeout? They did stop it. Charge timeout. Michigan. Here it's third down and long for Michigan. Haskins run right after the catch. Lunging. Appear to get there. But doesn't look like they're going to do it. They snap it with 15. Haskins trying to run wide. And they swarm him well short of the first down. The line of scrimmage, and that's it. Big stop by Brent Price defense. So time for Penn State. A minute and a half to go in the half. A couple of timeouts. Dotson reversing his field. And runs out of bounds with a loss on the play. Back to the 31 yard line. Ohio State, the only team to score more than 24 against Penn State this year. Wide open man down the middle. Parker Washington weaves inside the 30, refuses to go down, and finally down to the 25 yard line. They have plenty of time now. With a minute to go in the half and two timeouts. Quarterback drop. No, it isn't. He faked it and then threw very close to the line. But for 12 for 20 for 123. Runs away from the rush. Looked like there might have been a hole that wasn't flat. Jim Harbaugh screaming at the referee. Clifford in trouble. Lost the ball. So here's Stout. The longest field goal in Penn State history, 57 yards. So it's like a pitching wedge for him from 52. With the wind, it is good. going into the wind in the final seconds of this half. McNamara throws it over the head of the tight end Luke Schoonmaker. Haskins gets the first down and is down at the 40. That will be the last play of the half. Arnold Evan Katie made the tackle. They put a second back on the clock. For a second, it ticked to zero. And it does again. And it's the end of the first half. They start with Haskins. Straight ahead for about three. Jesse Lucetta took him down. They stick with the run. Haskins breaks a tackle. Has a first down. He's out of bounds near the 40-yard line. Ellis Brooks couldn't get him down, and that paved the way for a 12-yard game. There's that lower half strength by Haskins again. You know, Brooks kind of wraps him right around that hip, and he's just too strong. Turns a two, three-yard loss into a first down. Watching the tape of their game last week against Indiana, the Fox broadcasters Joe Davis and Brock Bjorn did a terrific job. I mentioned Haskins told him he squats 315 25 times. Long pass incomplete for Roman Wilson. 315 25 times. Across the middle, wide open, Cornelius Johnson. Burst of speed as he crossed the Penn State 40. For 25 yards this time. Haskins with blockers out in front. That's the center. Andrew Vastardis trying to lead the way. Haskins patiently following the blocks. The tight end Luke Schoonmaker who had Haskins' hand on his back. Now here's the 
there's a false start. False start, offense, number 25. Five yard penalty, first down. That's the look to the 22 yard line, first and 15. Michigan on the move on the opening drive of the second half. Nice throw. Wilson out of bounds. He scored the only touchdown of this game, a 21 yard play in the second quarter to give them a 7 3 lead. Only Colorado State has kicked more field goals in the red zone than Michigan's 17. Play fake to Haskins. At the very got it off. And there it goes. Lunging for the pylon, didn't get there, but he got close. They expect Haskins here. They fake it to him and throw a touchdown. Second for Roman Wilson. Maybe he should wear a cast every week. They said it's actually harder for him to hang on to the ball as a runner. They're afraid, you know, that he can only carry the ball in one arm. He's been a dependable catcher in practice. See how he kind of fakes like he's going to go block right there? Kind of raises his upper body like he's going to go be blocking. And then Joey Porter, the guy who's covering him, kind of has his eyes go into the backfield. Really good job of selling that by Roman Wilson. Nice point good by Jake Moody. Wilson had one touchdown of his career prior to today. That was last year in Indiana. A touchback. Yvonne <laughs> Lee weaved his way out to the 40 yard line, gain of 15, deemed to be a run of 12 yards or more. Here's the tight end, Brenton Strange. Close to another first down. Formation again, juggling catch by Dotson and a great tackle for the lead by Josh Ross. Dotson has five catches, just 21 yards. They haven't pushed it downfield to him at all. And I know Michigan's not allowing that, but at some point you got to try to formation it to give the chance for him to be one on one. He averages 103 yards receiving per game. There he is down there. Levon Lee on third down and four. Got it. Quarterback's down again. Aiden Hutchinson again. You're just gonna get one-on-ones on the outside. And Clippers got no move to no room to work. They're trying to take their shot downfield. The Jahan Dotson, they just need a second more of protection. But that's the risk you run when you're going to go five-man protection versus these defensive ends. Is if you don't hold up long enough to get the ball downfield, they're too good pass rush wise. Six sacks for the Wolverines. Second and thirteen. Clifford, as the looking play, Jumbo approaching that time. Mike, Mike Linebacker walked up in the line of scrimmage right there. That creates those one-on-ones for this offensive line. Olsen backed out. Four-man rush. Time for Clifford, and they can't execute a very short pass to Keandre Lambert-Smith. This is the first punt of the day in this direction into the wind. Fielded by A.J. Henning, who could not spin away. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. In State College, Pennsylvania, Michigan leading 14 to 6, third quarter. They have the ball back, the handoff to Eric All. And the big tight end gave it his all to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a nice job by Tar Burton on the edge, and then Ellis Brooks running to it. That cry year in, year out. 
Coordinates great defenses. Surprised we don't hear his name mentioned more often for head coaching vacancies. Matt Lamera long throw. Cornelius Johnson had trouble finding the ball coming in his direction. Third down and ten for Michigan. McNamara zings one, another back shoulder throw. Wilson didn't know it was coming. A couple of long throws down the field where it seemed like the timing was off. One to Johnson and that one to Wilson. Jahan Dotson back deep. It hasn't been a punt of under 56 yards in this direction today. Two from each punter. All taking advantage of the win. Goes up spiral. Fair catch made by Dotson at the 40 yard line. Good field position here for the Nittany Lions. And held to just two field goals. Keevon Lee. Bust through. Breaks a tackle and slipped. As he tried to jam the brakes on. Still looks like he got the first down. Clifford has a man. Oh! Washington to the 30 yard line of Michigan. Levi Lee. For about two that time. Swing pass. Is that forward? Yes. Kevon Lee couldn't catch it. Third down at eight, midway through the third quarter. 14 to six, Michigan. They are in field goal range. This, we can't bring it back up. We get pop out zone coverage. Do. Bring pressure. Clifford dumped it over the middle. Theo Johnson, the catch and a good tackle. Out from 43 into the wind, already two for two today. Not as successful as a runner. Get that one fat, and it's no good off the right upright. So here's a nice run. First down for Hassan Haskins after the Miss Penn State field goal. Ellis Brooks chased him out. It's a gain of 12 for Haskins. One yard shy of his seventh 100-yard game in his last 12, and there it is. As he's ahead for a couple. Like here, had 27 carries last week. He might surpass that today. Cade McNamara on target. Mike Sain was still banged down short of the line to gain. Askin. First down, 49-yard line. Takes the handoff to Haskins. Throws it down the field and over the head of Cornelius Johnson. Jack Zinter just decided to get up out of his stance well before the snap. Ball start. Offense number 65. Five yard penalty. Second down. Second and 15 here. The fourth Michigan penalty. Penn State's been flagged three times. Sainra still stopped immediately. And Joey Porter and Brandon Smith. And it is just those three men rushing. McNamara for the crosser. Johnson is smothered immediately. In the open field. Brandon Smith again and Curtis Jacobs. And Michigan will have to punt. I think that's where you ask, can this team go to the next level? Can that quarterback make that play and be a little bit aggressive with the football? Uh, you know, the world might be listening to Matt Austin earlier. They did not have possession there, so the ball will come out. What a chilly November day, important game in the Big Ten. Just trying to keep its conference title hopes alive. It wouldn't be buried with a loss here today, but it would be really tough. Keep on after an eight-yard game, Brad Hawkins hit him hard. Love it, the running back now. He's actually the guy who's given them some productivity in the run game. Jahan Dotson patiently waited for a seam. Found one first down. Four-man rush, Clifford on the ball, almost in a 
intercepted by Josh Ross. Is love it, couldn't catch it. Boy, Penn State's had a hard time today on what seemed to be relatively simple short throws. I think he's actually trying to get this ball into a little bit of a window to Dotson. See Dotson right here? I think he's trying to get that ball to Dotson right there because he throws that so hard in what it looks like to be a love. And I think he's trying to fit it in that window to Dotson. See Dotson down here? It's really about that safety. If he goes down towards the football, you've got to take your one-on-one -on -one shot. If he stays back, run it. The runner with Lee. He's averaged almost five yards per carry today. Donovan Jeter, the stop, back up defensive lineman. And a good one in there for Michigan. He comes out now. I like this. We talked about the ends, right? you got a tight end here and a tight end there. Kind of help on Ojabo and Aiden Hutchinson. Chip both those guys in protection. Catch made by Jahan Dotson. <laughs> 17 yard gain. Keyboard. Strong run by Keyboard Lee for about seven more. Clifford pulled it down. Thought he had somewhere to go. He was mistaken. Michael Barrett stopped him that time. You're going to get a shallow cross coming here. Watch. Sean Clifford's going to have his eyes going to the left. You got a, a, a route there by Deshaun, Jahan Dotson right there that's going to get open. That's one of those where, as a quarterback, you almost ran yourself into that sack, anticipating the pressure. If you just go through your progression, you're going to have Dotson sitting in that zone. And the loss turned second and three and a third down and seven. Probably not in field goal range here. He has a strong leg. You can kick him the The flag is down. Aiden Hutchinson was being held by Caden Wallace. And that's a big call because they're marking that as a catch, which would have been a first down to the 35. It was a blatant hold. Holding. Offense number 79. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. Takes the short pass, stopped immediately by Vincent Gray. That is the end of the third quarter. spot with some help. You got to pay attention to the play action pass if you're Penn State's defense. McNamara just trying to get them some more room. McNamara, trust your eyes. See the man coverage. You got man across the board. Man, man, man across the board. McNamara throws the slant. Was the knee down on the catch by Haskins? Yes. The official from the far sideline is going to mark it at the 10. A yard short. And that looks from here to be the right call. He catches it, but you see the knee down. Then he lunges for the 11, which was the line to make. Dotson, dangerous return man back for the Brad Robbins punt, which will be into the win. And it's knocked down by that win. Takes a good bounce for the Wolverines into Penn State territory to the 47 yard line. Keep on lead, ball carrier. To the 46 of Michigan goes Kevon Lee. Dance for a while and might have cost himself. 
the first down. He wasn't in the big hurry to take advantage of it. They're going to stop him about a half yard shy. Rod Moore with help from Brad Hawkins. Third down, less than a yard, under 12 minutes to go. Michigan leading by eight. Lee authoritative that time, first down. Inside the 41 yard line. Lee danced ahead inside the 40. That's how bad the season it's been for Penn State on the ground. Noah Kane is their leading rusher. He has not carried the ball today. And he averages 32 yards per game rushing. They haven't quite reached their season average of 106. They have 92 today. Play fake by Sean Clifford. Being chased by Sean Clifford. Takes the 35 and realizes he has to fight for another day. Wisely ran out of bounds, pursued by Nakai Hill Green. Love it came in motion. Swing pass to him. That's forward incomplete. They've tried that one a few times today with not much to show for it. That was a forward pass. Incomplete fourth and four. He's throwing it from the 40. Yep, definitely forward. Inside the 40. See how that ball placement's just a little bit behind Lovett? If it's out in front, at least it gives him the opportunity to catch and have vision of what's in front of him. When that ball's behind, he can't see. They're going for the fourth down, down by eight. Under 11 minutes to go. From the Michigan 35. Lee, the running back. Clifford throws, caught, Dotson first down. Bang, bang, down three, caught at the 30. And with a yard to spare, Brad Hawkins the stop. Five yard gain, seven catches for Dotson, just 43 yards. Lee, where his head got five. Time getting started and went down shy of the line of scrimmage in the arms of Donovan Jeter. There's a decent chance John might have given his brother Jim a good recommendation on Mike McDonald. And thank you for the tip, says Jim. This coach is terrific. Devon Lee, here comes another fourth down, fourth and two. Looks like they're going to go for it again. You got one on one up here. Again, it's all about that safety. If he stays high, you're going to throw it to the bottom of the screen to your trips. If he comes down, take Dotson in one on one. You got to double up Dotson here, don't you? Yep. Four man rush. Clifford looks at Dotson, makes the catch. First and goal at the six yard line. They spotted it at the seven. First and goal. Lee. Up the middle of the four yard line. Second and goal, Noah Kane has had a touch today. And then running back after Lee went off. Clifford throws it away. Really nice job by Michigan secondary wise there, specifically Dax Hill. Just trying to trade off that coverage. You know, they're trying to get Dotson in motion. Dax does a great job of communicating, passing off, and playing man coverage. Kane remains the running back. Three receivers to the left, tight end at the left end of the line, Theo Johnson. Third down and goal. Michigan blitzes. The quick hitter to Dotson, couldn't break the tackle. And DJ Turner, huge play by the cornerback. Kane and Devin Ford, the running backs, neither of them has had a touch today. Clifford. They go for Dotson, and a great catch on the throw. Goes back shoulder with Turner in coverage. They get the two to tie it with seven and a half to go.
tough act to follow this Big Ten battle. Has developed into quite a battle indeed. Penn State has tied it on the catch by Warren. Just his second reception of the season. Of his career, he had a 22 yard here against Auburn. First receiving touchdown, he scored two on the run. McNamara has it knocked down. And the caddy there for Penn State. Third down and 11. McNamara taken down. The ball is on. And the caddy sacked him. And it is Penn State ball. Devon Lee back in at running back. The medical tent. Wolford looked at him, got two arms Sean on that Hooker on the carry, teams up to the They're so far away. I think they'd throw the ball to five right now. He's looking in that direction and he throws it over his head. As he completed. With DJ Turner in coverage on Jahan Dotson. Third down, seven they are in field goal range. Here comes a blitz. Clifford lobs it up, and the receiver never saw it coming. He didn't have a chance anyway. It almost landed in the stands. Well-timed safety blitz from Mike McDonald. It was Brad Hawkins. And Clifford banged up as he walks off. But here's Stout, excellent kicker. Missed his last one. He's two for three today. This is 31 yards. High snap handle by Raphael. Check up. And Penn State leads again. Out to kick off to be another touchback. Hassan Haskins, good way to start the drive for the Wolverines. And he will not go down until he has 17. Five and a half to go. Showing no signs of fatigue, Haskins. Haskins got to the line to make and just a little more to keep the chains moving. Haskins. Here comes the Penn State blitz. Lots of running room down the sideline. Eric all the tight end. Will they catch him? No. Touchdown, Michigan. And the point for Moody. He still has never missed one in his career. Michigan has reclaimed the lead. Moody's kickoff is a touchback. Long throw. Diving attempt made by Cam Sullivan Brown. Spread the formation with five receivers. Clifford after a pump fake throw, short of the first down, down to a knee to make the catch. Slant, Dotson paid the price, couldn't hang on. Clifford under pressure immediately, lofts it up. Incomplete for Cam Sullivan Brown. Vincent Gray had the coverage. Michigan takes it back on downs. Targeting on a half to have it drive. Hassan Haskins. Haskins stumbles as he takes the handoff, spins, and does everything he can to get to the marker. He did it. Third down and one. McNamara has the first down. First down. I think the question is, how do they get past? Like, how do they get over the hump that you know, good team but not good enough? 
more importantly, in the context of this season, Michigan is 9-1. With everything it hopes to achieve, still right there in front of them. Again, they're going to need somebody to knock off Michigan State. They hope they get a little help next week in that regard from Ohio State if they don't get help from Maryland today. And if they do, that game could be for everything the last game of the season in Ann Arbor. When Coach Harbaugh tries to get his first win as head coach against the Buckeyes. 21-17, the final score.